Hi guys, uh, basically this is a very small tutorial in which I will let you know how you can set up CVCRM with Drupal installation on your localhost. Uh, there is not a much tutorial or much information available over the internet so I just start to make a quick video for you. Uh, the first step is basically you need a local host on your machine. Currently I have a local host. Uh, the software name is the App Server Open Project 8.6.0 and I have set it to work with the port 786 and uh, you can also use VAMP, you can also use XAM or whatever the software is available. So in this package you can see uh, there is Apache version 2.4.25, PHP script language 5.6.30 and 7.1.1 but I'm specifically using 5.6.30 but it's very easy to change and there is not a big difference between both and the uh, MySQL database version is a 5.7.17 and PHP MyAdmin database manual version 4.6.6 so if I just write AppServe so this is the AppServe.org from where you can just download and it's very easy to install um, there is an exe basically you just run click next 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 and it will be installed on your machine so uh once we have accessed this uh by using localhost or whatever the port is if you see this way it means that the apache php is basically working perfectly on your machine next step let's download uh, drupal so i'm going to select drupal.org and drupal for developers okay download drupal and uh, the version basically which i'm going to download it's uh, not 8.5.6 but it will be 7 point something so um let me get this one 7.x and you can download it from there okay the version is basically which i'm going to download is 7.5.7.59 so the download has been started. I'm going to pause this video so the downloads download has been completed. Uh, well, uh, I don't need to pause at the moment. Let's uh, open cvcm.org and uh, we also need the CVCM, which is the best software for the CRM, which works with the loss, loss of the top class custom and uh, content management systems like uh, Drupal, Joomla and uh, WordPress. So I'm going to download this as well download CVCRM and you can just select download CVCRM 5.4.1 for Drupal 7.x this has also been started and the boat is basically being downloaded at the moment okay the download has been completed for both Drupal and CVCRM so I just go back to the app server directory so you just need to know where you have installed it. I have installed in E drive. So in the app server directory, I will open www folder where I will create a new folder Drupal and I will paste the both download files. So the first thing I'm going to do is extract the Drupal software and after that I will uh, extract CVCRM software okay so both the uh, software has been extracted successfully so I'm going to remove these and uh, what I will do I will get the whole Drupal into the root directory and uh, let's install Drupal first and then we will look into this CVCRM uh, once we have uh, we will start installation first we need the database so in the app server if you click on the php MyAdmin database manager just create a empty and empty database before starting the installation of drupal so i will let's make it more clear and just put the name as drupal create that's it and now we have to open Drupal. 
there you go the installation is pretty straightforward database name which we have just created recall and other options a username password for the php admin and let's move forward so it can take some time meanwhile what i will do i will pause the video and get back once it's been done solution is in process Installation has been successfully completed. Next step is to, to have some side information. So I'm just going to put test test at test.com username. Alright, admin and password. Just make it something which is complicated and strong country but I will leave it right now at the moment all right the installation has been completed so let's go to visit your new site there you go guys this is our Drupal installation and the Drupal running version so next step is how we will install uh, CVCLI here uh, if you click on the modules In the module section install new module and just browse the file where we have keep that I have this one okay so I'm going to install CVCRM 5.4.1 you can also install it from giving us some URL directly but as you know that we have already downloaded the application so I just locate the file from a local PC and the installation has been started. Show you for the dog voice. So it can take some time. Okay, while installation you can find a problem like this one. That the maximum execution time is 30 seconds. So how we can solve this? To solve it we have to make some uh, updates to the php.ina file. I'll go to php in my app server and I will find php.ini there you go I will open it and find the execution time here I will increase this time from 30 to uh, you may say uh, 600 all right and I will also increase the maximum input to 60 to 600 and memory limit is okay so one small thing the post basically the posting variables i believe those are okay the yeah it's 200 mega bytes i believe so the maximum size the which can be posted once i will save it what i need to do i need to restart my apache so this is apache you just go here just write apache and click on apache restart yes So Apache has been successfully restarted. Now let's go back and refresh it and try to install it again. Okay, our CVCM solution has been completed and we have to enable the modules which we have just uh, you know installed. So you just click on enable and newly added modules. It will take us back to the module section. All right, so we have to find CVCM. The whole section is there. I'm going to select all the available modules and then uh, save configuration. All right, you will get something like this that the un undefined index. And uh, to fix this issue, uh, we have to install the missing settings for CVCRM. Just click on install. I just think the installer can only be done by the user, the permissions, etc. This is also a glitch on the local server. So I have a cheat to solve this problem. Go to the directory where you have Drupal and click on sites, click on default, sorry not default, just click on all 
and then click on modules and you can see there is a cvcrm let's try to find the file index.php and uh, in the index.php file where is that file where is that file oh, sorry install yep install index.php file and open notepad and just try to search for this string there you go so what i will do i will just comment this line whole of the function saved it closed it go back refresh and it will do the work basically so all the settings looks okay everything is in green so i'm going to just um you know um i have to click on you already do install check requirements and install c crm so at the c crm on all of its other components has been installed and enabled successfully you can play with permissions and you can configure the stuff is basically like uh, we have groups role sync etc this is how you basically install drupal and uh, and then cvcrm on drupal on your local machine i hope it will help for someone who is dealing with this kind of stuff thank you